This is what vaping does to your brain. It's an MRI that allows us to look at how much nicotine is actually binding to the receptors. In the beginning, this is what the brain actually looks like. After one puff, it looks like this. And after just three puffs, it looks like this. The shift in the color indicates that there's a higher concentration of nicotine in the brain. Here's what it looks like after one cigarette. And this is how the brain looks after the equivalent of three cigarettes worth of nicotine. Now, aside from the impact that it has on the lungs, it also has a significant impact on the brain and one's cognitive ability. And this is especially true in people that are under the age of 25. You see, our prefrontal cortex doesn't fully develop until around that age. And the prefrontal cortex is what allows us to make proper decisions in life. This part of the brain plays a significant role in your ability to make judgment calls. So data has shown that individuals under this age who do smoke e-cigarettes have had long-term cognitive impacts. For example, it can increase the risk of developing mood disorders. It literally rewires your brain and changes your behavior. The brain ends up developing more nicotinic receptors and requires a higher dose of nicotine to get the same impact that it once had when you first started. So this leads a person to smoke more and more and more. It also has several different heavy metals. The heavy metals found in e-cigarettes can also significantly impact the way that the brain works. Things like lead and nickel have been shown to be neurotoxic. Formaldehyde, a carcinogenic agent, is also detrimental to the brain. Vaping is not a safer alternative to smoking when it comes to the brain. 